What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Face Jasper and today we are going to do a workout video. As I guys promised you guys, uh, we're going to do workout videos a lot more. Uh, just me and you, me talking into the camera. I added the face cam because it's more interesting and funner. More fun to watch. Funner? That's not even a word. Alright, let's just jump into the first exercise. Uh, today we're going to start off with pull-ups. Um, we're going to actually do wide grip pull-ups. Um, I've been starting with wide grip pull-ups for quite some weeks now, I think three or four weeks, and it's going very, very well. I started off with three sets of eight, and now I'm slowly moving up to four sets of eight. I almost got it, and I think next week I have it. So progress is key, guys. Um, with pull-ups, wide grip pull-ups, it's very important to go with your chest up to the bar and pull through your elbows. Um, that way you're gonna activate the back as much as possible. Whatever uh, back exercise we're doing today, pull through the elbows. That's also always very, very important. Don't pull with your hands or wrists or anything like that because you activate more biceps. So as well as with this one, but with this one you bend over, it's a V-bar row. You bend over, pull through the elbows, activate your core and make sure your back is straight at all times. That is very, very important. Uh, a round back is not good. Uh, V-bar rows, three, uh, three sets, 10 to 12 repetitions. Uh, the second one is a single-handedly um, cable uh, pull, cable row. That's the, uh, I was struggling with this the last take. Um, but anyways, uh, we did 10 reps on each hand and we superseted that with straight arm pulldowns. Uh, but with this one though, as well, bend over a little bit to make sure your back is as straight as possible. Um, it's, it's not as bad um, as straight as it was at the last exercise because uh, my body or my back has a lot less tension. So uh, it is it is all right if you have a little bit less tension on your back. Um, we superseted that with straight arm pull downs. Obviously, this is going to hit the lats uh, with the, um, the single arm cable pull uh, with the row. Uh, you're going to hit more of the thickness of the back, so uh, the thickness of the lats especially. Um, with this one, we're going to work more on the wideness, the V-taper of the back, which is always very, very important. Both are very important. Obviously, you want very wide lats, but also want some mass on it. So that's very good exercise to do. Then we move on to a rear delt exercise. Um, rear delts are very important, not only for the looks, uh, but also for your, your body posture. If you, you know, do a lot of push days, you do a lot of bench pressing and, and, and shoulder press and stuff, uh, but you neglect the rear side of your shoulder, this is going to mess up your posture. You're going to walk like this in a couple years, and that's not healthy, so we definitely want to do this. So this is a reverse cable crossover, um, which hits the rear delts. With this exercise, it's very, very important, and I say very, very important because it's very, very important, to keep your arm locked in one angle throughout the whole movement. Uh, this way, you're going to not activate your triceps or any other muscle but the rear delts, which is very important. Uh, then we move on to a seated lateral pull down. Um, we are sitting on a reverse uh, side because uh, we feel like this is a better way to do it. Um, it feels more like a behind the neck pull down and this very, you know, it, it works very nice on the traps in the middle of the back, uh, but also the lower part of the lats, you can squeeze very good and efficient. Uh, then we move on, by the way, uh, three sets, 10 to eight reps. Um, then we move on to a seated um, plate loaded machine row, which is just a very nice exercise. We actually did four sets of eight to 10 repetitions on this one. With this one as well, keep your chest up, make sure you pull through your elbows so we activate as much back as possible. As you can see here, if I pull like this, I'm gonna activate more of my biceps. If I pull like this, it's more back action. So that's what we wanna do with back exercises. Uh, then we move on to biceps. We did three exercises for biceps and a little bit of forearms. Um, the first exercise is just a regular barbell curl, um, just a normal, a little bit wider than shoulder grip. I did it today, um, which I kind of feel a little bit more in the inside part of the bicep. I know it sounds dumb, but um, you really feel it there when you do this exercise. Uh, three sets, 10 repetitions for these barbell curls. Uh, this is another angle. Uh, with this, it's very important uh, to do a full range of motion, guys. I see a lot of guys barbell curling and doing half the motion, uh, which is obviously not good. You want to stretch the bicep out and make sure it's contracted all the way. Uh, th this way, you're just going to make sure you're gaining as much muscle as possible. Obviously, after training, you have to eat correctly and stuff. But you want to break it down as much as possible so you can you know, make sure it gets um, reproduced. I, I can't come on a word, but whatever. Um, 
Then we move on uh, to uh, a similar exercise, but just as you can see here, it's more of a closer grip on the barbell. Uh, this way you're gonna hit more of the outside part of the biceps, which is a real thing, by the way. Um, so we switch it up. This is a lot tougher, by the way, so make sure to lower your weight. But it was as well with this one, three sets, uh, 10 to 12 repetitions, all right? Uh, then we move on to the already last exercise for biceps, also a little bit of forearms, is the reverse curl. Uh, we decided to do it with cables because, you know, the tension is a lot different uh, on a cable than with a just a free weight. So we tried to do a cable today. Um, this exercise actually hurts a lot. Um, it hurts in your forearms on this part of your forearm. I'm not sure what the English word is. I think it's brachialis, but I'm not really sure. So don't quote me on it, but the biceps. All right, so uh, you wanna do this as well. Three sets, 10 to 12 repetitions. Make sure you pick and weight. And as you can see, I have my elbows flared out a little bit at the end. Not good, not good, Jasper. You don't need to do that. Keep your elbows as stationary and as close to your body as possible, as well with the normal curls. This is better. All right, so um, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, please leave a rating, a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you enjoyed or didn't enjoy this video at all. If you wanna leave a comment, you can do that in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you are new, and that's my favorite riddle of all time. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my last video. It's super amazing. I really appreciate you guys the love on that video. And I'll talk to you guys another day. All right. Deuces.